What's up, YouTube? All right, so today we're going to do another basics video, and it's going to be on audio and more specifically speaker layout. Let's demystify some of the crazy terms that you hear 7.1.4, 5.1.2. Let's talk about it. Let's show you what it actually means with some actual speakers here, and we'll do that today. Let's get into it. Speaker layout. What do the different speaker layouts mean? 7.1.4, 5.1, 5.2, all of those things. What do they mean? All right, so when we start this out, this is you. Your Mickey Mouse, and this is your chair. Your main seating position is in the center of your room, or it's probably not in the very center of your room, but for this audio demo to work. So you just bought your new TV. It's a 70 inch, beautiful OLED, 80 inch, 90 inch, however big it is, doesn't really matter. And you listen to it, you watch it, and you're like, ooh, this is pretty good. I can hear it, and everything sounds good. I'm in my main seating position, but I want it to sound better. What do I do? Well, what most people do is they buy a sound bar. And sound bars are really good investments. They're really good investments because if you want to start there and at some point you think you want to get more speakers or do something different, add more flexibility to your system, you can always move a sound bar to another room. Okay? And for the most part, sound bars are put either below or above the TV. And that's important because you want to make sure that when people are talking on the screen, it at least sounds like it's coming from the screen. You don't want to put a sound bar behind, put the sound behind you and somebody's talking on the screen is coming from behind you, right? So you want to always put it in the basic plane of the television. And so you can get a sound bar. Most sound bars at, at the most, what they do is they'll pass through HDMI um, and you can plug in some of your sources to it, like your Roku box, your Amazon video box, your Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, whatever you want. You can plug it into it and it'll pass through signals and it'll um, use like Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, those types of audio programs to decode. And they usually have two, at least two speakers so you can get your stereo separation. And those speakers, whatever speakers they put in it, are usually better than the TV speakers because of course we're going for very thin TVs now. And so the speakers aren't built, they're, they're kind of a, a secondary thought. They aren't built well for, um, for hearing things. So that's why sound bars are gonna sound much better than your TV sound. So they usually do 2.0, two channels or more speakers, and the more speakers they use to simulate surround sound, okay? So everything's gonna sound better, and some of your more expensive or more pricey um, sound bars will even simulate Dolby Atmos, which is which they use up-firing speakers to reflect off your ceiling and bounce back on your head, and so it gives you like, sounds like things are coming overhead, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But um, Dolby Atmos and, the home theater hobbyists, we suggest that you, you you buy a sub, excuse me, buy a sound bar that does Dolby Atmos, HDCP 2.2, HDMI 2.0, those kinds of things, just so it's more future proof for the future. Now those are more pricey. Um, Sony, LG, Yamaha, um, Samsung, they all sell, sell sound bars, uh, in the US anyway, that uh, will do these things. But like I said, they are more pricey. But the other thing you can add, and one of the things that we highly suggest, even if you don't do the Atmos route, is you add a subwoofer, and we're going to use this Lego here as our subwoofer. And you put that in, and that'll give you basically a 2.1, and the dot one is the subwoofer, um, a 2.1 layout, and that'll add more bottom end so your explosion sounds better. And so that's good. But let's say you're like, oh, I like I like the sound, uh, I like the sound bar, but I want to I want to do something more. And this is where you get into separates. And usually with soundbar, sometimes you can get separate things, but for this case, we're just gonna talk about separates. And so this speaker is gonna transfer from a soundbar to a center channel for our demonstration. So we'll just leave it there. This becomes your center channel or your center speaker. And then you can add in two more speakers to the left and the right of your center speaker. And you'll end up with a left, front, center, right, front, one, two, three, three dot one system. And so if you have a, let's say an airplane flying around and you're sitting in your main seating position, your favorite movie, your airplane's gonna sound like this. It's gonna, it's gonna go around, it's gonna pan across those speakers. And it sounds really good. And for this particular setup, one thing that we recommend is that you get all the same speakers from the same manufacturer from the same line within that manufacturer. So you have the same tonal quality across the front. So if somebody is walking off screen or walking on screen in the movie and they're talking, and let's say it starts in the right channel, or a right speaker and moves to the center, there it doesn't change in tone. It doesn't. There's no abrupt change. So that's why we recommend you do three of the same speakers from the same manufacturer from the same line. Okay. So that's your three dot one and your dot one being your subwoofer setup. 
okay? And that begins to add more flexibility. So you like it, you're like, wow, this sounds really good. What if I add more speakers, will it sound better? Yes, yes it will, it would absolutely sound better. And one of the things about it is you can add speakers here and here, and so you've got left, center, right, surround left, surround back. You've got five speakers, and that becomes your 5.1 setup. This is what a lot of people talk about when they say they have surround sound. They have five speakers and a subwoofer, or 5.2 would be five speakers and, let's put it out here so you can see it a little better, and two subwoofers. 5.1 setup. So all of a sudden, that same airplane that's coming through, that's flying through, Turns out, in this movie, it starts in the rear. So all of a sudden, it's flying all the way around your head. It's you, right? Remember, remember, it's flying all the way around your head. It's super cool. You really like it. And if you have the space, one of the things you can do to make it even more impressive is you can add two more channels to your rear. And that would give you a... 7.1 setup. So all of a sudden, same movie, same plane. All right. Okay. So you've got your speakers, your seven speaker set up. This is your left front, center, right front, surround left, surround right, rear left, rear right. And this is all based on you sitting here in the middle and your left and your right as you're looking at the TV. And so one of the things that's come in the past few years is Dolby Atmos and DTSX and also Oro 3D. They are three different audio formats that have added in height channels or basically ceiling or in ceiling speakers or in this case also add on modules. And what it does is it adds a three dimensional sound field. Instead of just sitting in a flat plane like we have here, you actually add in some sound coming from above you so, it sound, so things sound real or sound like they sound in the natural world. And to get that, Dolby Atmos, and we're mainly going to be talking about Dolby, the Dolby specifications, they've added in Dolby enabled speakers. And what that means is they have speakers on top or recessed inside of the top of your speaker. And I don't have any, so I'm just using these Legos as an example. But there's a speaker in top and it sits like this. And what it does is it reflects sound, sound, it beams sound up, hits your ceiling and reflects back down onto you. Okay, so it uses reflection technology to make that work, sound reflection technology to make it work. Now your ceiling has to be seven and a half to 12 feet above your main seating position or where your ear level is for your main uh, seating position for it to work. And also reading the specification, they said if you have ceiling fans and some other things, it um, ceiling fans won't inter interfere, but you do need a flat ceiling, no angles or anything weird like that. And also of course, normal ceiling materials, you know, plaster or uh, drywall, that sort of thing. And it should work really, really well. And all the reviewers also say it works. Um, they also do what's called add-on modules, so you don't actually have to get the speaker inside the um, inside this this other speaker. You can buy an add-on module that just sits on top of that speaker and plugs right into your receiver. They also have um, in-ceiling speakers, so you can actually, if you want to, cut holes in your ceilings, you can, and you can put them right in your ceiling where they need to be, angled at your main um, tweeter, aimed at your main. Um, seating position and that'll work as well. And what this gives you is seven channels and in this case dot, dot one dot four. That other four or two are the height channels. In this case it's four because we have four here. If we took two of these away they'd be dot two um, and we can take them away this way and they'd also be dot two. Okay so that's what that is. That's what that means. Seven dot one dot four is this particular situation. This is height front left height front right, uh, height rear left, height rear right, okay? So that's what that means. And if you were to, if you hear the terminology 5.1.2, um, you can drop these off, go that way, and there you go. You got 5.1.4 here, 5.1.2 there. So that's what that means. Now to get this to work, you do need a Dolby and Atmos, Atmos or DTSX, um, AV receiver and uh, movies that also support it as well. So you, there's some other pieces of the chain that you need. But one thing that we can say is it makes you more immersed and you'll enjoy it. It'll sound more natural. Okay, so that's speaker layouts. Those are the basics. And uh, we thank you guys for watching. Please like or subscribe below. 
please add any comments, questions below. We like to hear them. We like to read them um, and answer whatever we can. And if we can't, we try to find the answers for you. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next week.